Hey, you came back. All right, so last drum bits we discussed doing a shuffle on the hi-hat. Uh, just a basic straight shuffle where it's one, a two, a three, a four, a, playing it either on the top or with the side of your stick on the side of the hi-hat combined with the top. So it would be a okay, versus a two ways of doing it, all right? Uh, playing it with a straight groove is fine. Kick, snare, to get used to it. Just back and forth. Easiest way to get used to it. But then as you get better at it, I want you to start following the hi-hat, because this actually does happen a lot in shuffles. Uh, the snare drum tends to follow the hi-hat. Even so much so that it's shuffling along, so you got both hands doing the same thing. Okay, that's just another type of shuffle. Well, today, we're just going to start adding snare notes to get used to playing with the right hand part that's happening on the hi-hat, okay? I'm not going to worry about bass drum right now. So what I want to teach you today is adding two snare notes on the R of two and the R of four. So you're basically going through, you're playing one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a, and you're going to add a snare drum on the R of two. One, a two. And then on the four as well. You can try them individually first and then put them together. All right, so on the two, the R of two. And then on the four only, the R of four, excuse me. with both of them. One, two, three, four. Okay? So practice that. Practice getting the snare drum to play on some us to get it swinging with the right hand. Then if you want to try it on all of them where you're playing go for it. Okay? Have fun with it. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you're seeing with these drum bits, you can go to my website, www.pwdu.com, and see more in-depth, longer lessons. Uh, I will be posting some of those, and you can download them. So go check them out.